100, 200, 300, and 60 thou. Okay, what I'll do is I'll get a center finder in here now and double check that. And that looks really good there. Got my eighth inch end mill in there. As you can see, there is a small line here that I'm going to work towards. And that's the uh, witness mark right there, the line that I made in the beginning here. And I'll just uh, work towards that line and just use that as a reference and mill to that line. And get set up here on a tripod. I'll give a quick check here just to see what we have here. Okay, about 130, 128, we're within range there. All right, we'll do that all the way down now and uh, and then do this part of him here and then switch the screws over to the side here and do the rest of it and get this accomplished. I'll let you guys watch in for a little more here. Drop it down a little bit here. And this way. I'll right. right, drop it down about there. That cleans it up nice, and you get a two fluid end there. That's clean up real nice. And then I'll do a prime cut on the way back again. I was cleaning up this corner real nice now. Prime cut. Down in there. I have a depth stop set right here. I'm at full depth right now. Remember, this is the bottom side of the table, <laughs> but still, you want to make it look nice as a model piece, though. So you try to go as detailed as possible. And I'll do the same for the other side as well. I'll keep the x-axis locked here now and just rotate this around get the opposite side and then just continue on okay okay these two sides are done here so I can now move the screws Actually, I only need one screw really because it's threaded on the main shaft here. Just threaded. One screw is all I need to keep it from uh, spinning any further. But I'll just put both screws back in. Now 
that's why I like using plywood, using wood for my uh, jigs and for my fixtures. It's so much easier to, so much easier to put screws in and stuff and to put screws in on the fly like this. Okay. Ready to turn it and get the next ones. Continue the process. Looking back at the original drawing now, I can secure the uh, dimensions for the through slots, and that's 0.477 for the small ones. The big ones is 0.695, and we'll get all these here established now and uh, start uh, machining all these parts out now. Let's come up next. Okay, here's the uh, dilemma I'm in right now. I have to put a 3 16th inch slot tight up against these here, right here. Uh, the end mills I have are not long enough to go to full depth. It's going to be hitting the shank. And because it hits the shank, it's going to throw it off when it gets down to full depth. So I can't do any kind of uh, milling with this in this position here. However, what I can do is while it's in this position, I can take a 3 16th inch bit and I can drill down and get my reference holes drilled in all the way around here. And when those holes are drilled in, then I can turn this right side up, remount it back on here again, and then <clears throat> do the milling of the slots from reference hole to reference hole. And that's about the only way I can think of doing this right now. Uh, that's This is just a little bit too, too small of depth of cut. Okay, so that's coming up next is the reference hole drilling. Okay, again, I have my rotary table set to zero again, locked in that position. I'm now back on center of my reference right here. And so now I need to move that 360 thousandths on the y axis. Push me back on this line here again, and then I'll be able to drill down through here. I have to figure out uh, again that's 123 thousandths off the rim to the uh, side of the bit. So, what I'll do is I will touch off the side of the bit here to the rim and then advance my x axis that 123 thousandths, and then I will drill down. And then the next number is 0.477, so I will come over 0.477 minus the 3 sixteenths of an inch to do the next hole. And then I will advance the rotary table. As I get there, I'll see how I'm going to do that part. But right now, I want to just get these across here first. Again, like we did before. And that's what's coming up next. Okay, I have my bit now touching the rim here. I'm clearing here properly. I need to move this on the x axis now, 123 thousandths. Okay, this one 123, lock the x axis. That puts my bit right here now. Now I'm ready to drill down through here. And let's do that. Yeah, and these are reference holes to do my milling with. Alright, got some wood coming up. Okay, so now the next would be to advance over that there 0.477 minus the 3 sixteenths. And do the next part of the hole here, and then do the same thing with my x axis, or uh, turn the rubber table again and do the same thing for the other side. And just keep on doing that 90 degrees each one. Okay, here we go. I will be advancing now that uh, 289 thousandths to get the other hole here. hundred. 
about a quarter inch of material. And now pick up some wood. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Those two reference holes right there will be where my slot will be uh, milled out at. I'm going to turn the table to the up the other side. Now I'll mill across there. Okay, so now I'll turn the rotary table 90 degrees, and no 90 degrees, and just keep on going that direction and uh, getting all this done. Okay, 90 degrees, we'll take it in this direction down to uh, 270. Right there. Okay, that takes care of the uh, four quadrants on the one side here, all the holes every 90 degrees. Now I need to bring my x axis back on the other side here, 360 thousand of an inch off center again on this side, and then repeat the whole process again. Not the x axis, the y axis. I now need to move that back. Uh, 720 a total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 710, and 20. And that should now take me back on the other side here now. So I'm looking at. And repeat the process again. Okay, now that I have all of the reference holes for all the small slots drilled in there. I now have my table on this side of the center point. In order to do these here, if you look here, these small slots right here, they drop in line below the center here. But if you look at the center lines of these here, bigger ones here, they're right in the center of this workpiece itself. So in order to do these, all I need to do is take my table and bring it back under the center of the workpiece now and then just rotate the rotary table 45 degrees and then that will establish uh, to be able to do these here larger slots now. And the reason why I had to offset the table was because of the small ones was because the small ones are below the center line but these are right in line with the center line that's what makes it more easier now to do this part. So now I'll advance the table again uh, that 360 thousandths of an inch One, two, three, hundred and sixty thou. Okay, so I'm back on center again. And now I need to ro uh, rotate my rotor table 45 degrees. 10, 20, 30, 40, 5 degrees. And that will establish now, as you see, that's coming right down in the center of that hole there. That will now establish that part. And so now that's coming up next. Now this, this slot here, the larger slots, is uh, 695 thousandths minus the 3 sixteenths diameter. Now I'll advance my x-axis in that direction, that dimension. It will be an x-axis advancement of 507 thousandths of an inch. Four, 
five hundred and seven thousandths. And you can see how that's right in line with down here. And that's pretty much where the bits ended up at, very close to the internal uh, part of the board here. So that's lining up pretty good with the drawing. So let's go ahead and block the x axis and drill away on this. And there we go. Okay, I'm probably drilling into this here uh, base right here, so I'm, I know I'm already through. All right, let's continue on. And I was hitting this with the drill chuck. It was hitting this, so I'm fine. Keep on going through. There we go. All right. Now we're going through all the way through. Okay, good. Since I have these here screws here right now. I'm going to go to the 180 here, so it'll be 180 plus the 45. That will turn on the uh, axes here. So we'll go this direction here, and that would be 225, I think. We'll see here. 240, 30, there's 225. And that's probably what I'm looking for. Let me just double check that. 180, 45, yeah, 225. So we set this up at 225, lock that in, and start drilling away. One more switch with screws here. Right on this side now again. And now advance it again from 225. Another, now I go another 90 here again. And continue on with the process. Flashlight here, and we're at 135. Right there, lock it in, and away we go again. And so on. Okay, at 315 degrees now, and do the last set of drawings. Okay, we're going to table at 107. So seven, one, two, three, four, five, and the last hole. These are all the screw holes in the screw drill, okay? So, all of the holes are now drilled. And now we can take it off. I could take the whole plate off, turn it around, and do the milling. We'll see how that comes out. I'm still on the center axis of the rotor table, which is where I need to have it at. Get screws 
down here. And we'll see if we can now spin this off. And there's what we have reference holes. The middle hole is good. Go this way, this way, and this way. All right. And then in between here are the T slots. All right. I think that's all I'm going to do for this evening. And we'll pick up later on for more. So have a nice day. Bye.